Um, hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Rahul Kushwa, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Deep Spatial, which is training on the CSC under the symbol DSAI. Deep Spatial is an artificial intelligence company which is specializing in geospatial artificial intelligence. So what does that mean? Um, all the businesses, every entity that you can think of is sitting on a lot of locational data. So what happens when you layer artificial intelligence on it? And that is what we are doing with our geospatial artificial intelligence engine. So we take into account a lot of business data, our proprietary data and a lot of GIS data. And once that is layered in our proprietary AI engine, what you have are some very specific insights uh, that impact the bottom line of the corporation. And that is what we are doing with Deep Spatial. So our focus is all around business development and revenue growth. Uh, the technology uh, has been developed. It has been tested with some major clients, and those have been through revenue paying contracts. And for this year, our focus is all about expanding our business, getting into new verticals, but at the same time, focusing on what we are identifying as the low hanging fruits in this environment. So perhaps the uh, the biggest differentiator is uh, that our focus is all around geospatial artificial intelligence. And we want to use our artificial intelligence engine to launch a suite of products which will be targeting a multitude of areas. So uh, it's not about that we are just focusing on one specific area and that is what we are doing with deep spatial AI. The focus is around many different verticals such as retail, uh, finance sector, uh, the government sector. And what we are developing is actually a suite of products which will be targeting multiple sectors. And so it's all about building an AI company which is focused on geospatial artificial intelligence, which basically has its tentacles in multiple verticals, which can all be revenue generating. Uh, I guess the, uh, the biggest message that I have is uh, you just have to look at uh, what sets us apart. Um, I mean, we are targeting a multi-billion dollar market opportunity. Uh, the technology has been validated with some major clients who have paid to use the technology. So we have some fantastic use cases out of it. Um, at the same time, if you look at our team, uh, I mean, if you just have to, if you just look at our advisory board, we have business leaders that have played a role in growth of major Fortune 500 companies and multi-billion dollar corporations. And for us right now, the focus is all about business growth, revenue, and business development. Good evening and welcome to the first product iteration of Deep Spatial AI's retail market expansion tool. Um, our solution currently helps retailers or virtually any company that has a physical store to find out who their ideal customers are and what might be the ideal locations that they want to open next. These types of insights that will be generated from geolocation intelligence can be extremely valuable for a business in understanding where their ideal customers are located and what type of market expansion strategies they might need to deploy to target the right sets of audiences, whether online or offline. As you can see here, the demo currently just shows a map of Montreal, but in order to isolate the different factors that might be affecting a business, different features can be layered on dynamically. For instance, if I select the immigrant tab here, I'm immediately able to spot the highest density areas where immigrant populations are currently living. On the other hand, if I select the household tab here, this tab clearly demonstrates to me where are the right areas where households with five or more individuals are living together. And as you can see here, there is a variety of different factors that we have selected that we think might affect the store performance across the entire town. This includes variables such as population commute time. So for any given data point, where are the areas where population commute time is usually under a 15 minute radius? What about if the radius is under 60 minutes? All of those data points can be dynamically seen here and give us insight into where these audiences are located. But that's not all. The real secret of our algorithm here is visible on the feature importance side of things. 
What this means is, is that our algorithms use machine learning and artificial intelligence technologies to immediately identify what might be the most relevant factors or criteria that would be affecting a business today. And it is here that a lot of interesting insights start to emerge. For instance, you can see on the extreme left-hand corner here that the importance of the feature income between $60,000 to $100,000 is extremely positively correlated and is a very important factor in identifying positive store performance with increased revenue and profits. On the other hand, the other extreme shows income above $100,000 demonstrates that if areas have population with inhabitants that are too rich, your store performance will be negatively impacted. The entire collection of data sets is synthesized to generate these types of dynamic insights, which is finally then layered on to the performance potential of a specific geography. And as you can see here, these are the different geographies that are that have been segmented out for a specific region that demonstrate where the high potential areas are the darker the color of purple here in this instance demonstrate where high potential stores possibly could exist and if we layer this on with some of the popular existing stores such as walmart or costco you see that already some of them are operating in high potential areas but this type of intelligence also showcases us other types of opportunities where newer stores can be open. For example, in the Northwest sort of region of the map, you can see that there is a high potential area without any stores present. These types of information layered on geospatially can allow firms to expand their market and find and reach their target customers in a very specific data-driven manner. Thank you. This is our second product demo, which refers to geolocation-oriented sentiment analysis for brands and competitors. This type of analysis is extremely valuable for especially direct-to-consumer brands who want to identify where their products might be most successful. In this case study, the individual dots that you're seeing laid out on a map in Mexico here are actually individual restaurant locations. For a specific alcoholic beverage manufacturer, we wanted to interpret and identify what are the areas and geographies where their product has the highest potential to reach the audiences and generate revenue and profit and sales? So we went around identifying all of the restaurants where the product is currently being sold and looked at where the perception of this product is positive or negative based on the restaurant reviews that might be available through a variety of different data sources. The final result looks something like this where high performance, high impact areas are targeted and laid out geospatially with a green color and the orange or the lighter colors represent the low performance potential areas. This type of analysis can really help direct to consumer brands monitor their marketing messaging, especially online. We would also have the capabilities to source this type of sentiment from public social media sources such as Twitter and Facebook, which allows brands to really synthesize where their customers are located and what they might be thinking about them, whether it be a new product launch in the most effective areas or something related to price discrimination where brands might want to charge customers in a specific geography a premium for purchasing their product and might offer discounts to other, other category of consumers with discounting strategies and other marketing efforts. The culmination of branding on a geolocation point of view allows brands to really dynamically interact with their consumers and maintain a direct relationship with them depending on what type of potential they might offer. You want to build brand loyalty with the most effective and most loyal customers. That is easily visible to you via map layout such as this. 